Hi hello everybody and welcome to today's adventure. For today's adventure I went to Otherworld. Otherworld is a 32,000 square foot immersive art installation in Columbus, Ohio. Mysteries unfold as you explore over 40 rooms filled with large scale interactive art, mixed reality playgrounds, and secret passageways. It's an all new kind of art experience where visitors are encouraged to freely explore and interact with a surreal world of science fiction and fantasy. This exhibit costs $25 to $30 per person, it's $30 on the weekend, and it runs until 8 p.m. to 10 o'clock at night, depending on the day of the week. Please check out their website for special group rates. There was also a bar and a small eatery here where I tried some of their fun food. So please hit that like and subscribe button, comment below on which part you like the best, and whether you've actually gone here or not. Now let's get started with today's adventure. The Otherworld exhibit is located in an abandoned shopping plaza in a strip mall area just before downtown Columbus, Ohio. When you drive into this plaza, the only thing in it is the Otherworld exhibit. On the day that I arrived, it was a rainy day. A rainy day. Upon entering the foyer, we see an eatery and a bar and a gift store over here to the right. And over to the left is the main ticket booth area. You can purchase tickets online or at the ticket booth. After that, you can meander around anywhere you want to, eat something, or go into the exhibit. After I got my wristband, I turned to my right to observe the first art piece in the foyer, this weird thing here. And then I turned to observe the cafe menu which serves alcoholic drinks, regular drinks, and snacks. Let's give this a closer look. So on the cafe menu, the beverages, we have the basic water, iced tea, hot chocolate, coffee, Red Bull, Powerade, milk, and juice. We have desserts, Rice Krispie treats, chocolate chips, jumbo milk cream pie, I did come back later and try these, so please stay tuned for that. Snacks, assorted candy, chips, Pop Rocks. A bar menu of different craft cocktails going from $7 up until $15. I did try one of these. And a beer and a wine and seltzer menu for those who enjoy getting drunk at art museums. <laughs> Looking at their sandwich boards with some of their signature drinks, they have the Cosmic Crystal, the Glow Worm, the Speaker Box Old Fashioned, and the Cotton Candy Skies. I figured it might be best to get a little drink inside of me, get a little loosened up first before I see this exhibit. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, let's go look at that drink. I decided to try the Cotton Candy Skies. This was $15 and consisted of vodka, cranberry, soda water, lime, and cotton candy. Now this drink required some assembly. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> it's so satisfying. <laughs> Let's stir it up and give it a taste. Okay. Now, let's give this a taste. Mm. 
Mm. This does taste a little better mixed up. I wish that it was a little sweeter. I can taste the vodka and the alcohol in it, but the flavors of the cotton candy and the vodka, to me, don't seem like they go together that well. This is an okay drink. It's visually fun. It's Instagrammable. I liked it. It's kind of expensive. I'm going to say because of the taste, I'm going to give this five paint splotches out of ten. After that, I decided to walk into the exhibit. The exhibit main door is framed by this abstract video art piece. And there is the cafe. <laughs> now let's go inside. I'm walking. Getting closer. Closer. It looks like there's organs on the wall. Okay. <laughs> Lots of wires. Look at those wires. This is very trippy. <laughs> now this is one bedroom I think I like. I hope I know he yelled at for painting on the walls. This room is very cutesy. <laughs> Let's see what's in his mouth. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> what's in that little hole? Get in there. Oh. 
Where am I? Oh my gosh, I'm under the bed. Let me get out of here. And back to where I started from. I think I'm in the Upside Down. <laughs> now this section appears to be the main crossroads. This is a main room that shoots off into different other branches and rooms. It's like I'm an avatar.
don't play with that thing. You don't know where it's been. Very strange. It's like a manger scene. Oh, this is a scary. Why am I whispering? Smacking the drums, just smacking away. After exiting the Pillars of Light room, I came to the Otherworld gift store. They had stuffed animals, stickers, pins, mugs, hmm. fuzzy things, green things, I don't know what that is, okay, t-shirts,
one-eyed things. Pins, I picked up a couple of these. Small blue whales. Stickers. Shirts. I wish they would have had a cow deity souvenir or something that lights up or lights up and play music like a keychain. That would have been neat. Shiny bags. <laughs> More pins, which I actually bought that one. And the lobby again. Before I left, I decided to peruse through the smacks to see what else I'd like to try before I left. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm. I decided on these two, the Rice Krispie Treat and the Stuffed Cream Oatmeal Sandwich. This oatmeal cream pie was $7. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. This is good. The cookie is very soft. The cream is also very soft. The cream is kind of sugary and sweet, but it's still really good. So this kind of melts in your mouth when you eat it. All in all, I'm probably gonna give this eight out of 10 paint splotches. It's definitely something I would try again. Last but not least, I had the rice treat for $9 which also had sprinkles and a cream on top. This is good. It's a very large Rice Krispie treat with some sprinkles on top, some icing. It was very soft. I thought it could have been maybe a little sweeter, but it was still a decent treat. I think what I'm gonna do is give this six and a half paint splotches out of nine. So that was my otherworldly adventure to other worlds. Looking at everything from the venue to the food and the snacks, I think I'm gonna give this an overall review of eight and a half paint splotches out of 10. It was definitely a fun event you should try out yourself. Please hit that like and subscribe button so I can bring you more fun and entertaining content. Please comment below when you've been here and what was your favorite scene and food. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next adventure.